All right, welcome. My name is Scott Jarvie, and I'm going to be talking about Peak Monsters, which I'm one of the co-creators of that. Uh, it is an association. It's a kind of a third-party site connected with Steam Monsters, and I actually want to go over this as well. So consider this some like of an introduction. If you have any interest in playing this trading card, digital trading card, blockchain trading card, or card game online, whatever you want to call it, you stumbled across this video, you were given this video, I sent you this video. We're going to talk about Steam Monsters and the kind of the connection here with Peak Monsters, uh, which in its primary function works as a market for these cards. And these are actual values. The value represents US dollars. Um, some of these cards are those, but some of them are quite a bit more, right? Five. Some are $500. I mean, they're very rare. Don't expect those too often. There's different versions of the cards. They've sold out all the alphas. And now they're selling beta cards. So what's been very interesting is that Steam Monsters has been kind of this uh, minimum viable product, right? They, they, uh, they launched this idea. We loved it. We started jumping in. This was months ago. And then they made something just barely playable, and then they made it a little bit better. And now on the third stage of playableness, it's actually really quite good. And it's now a decent amount of strategy and skill involved, um, which is why I kind of want to talk about this now. So uh, sit back. This is going to be kind of a bit of information. Uh, maybe in the future I'll... I'll uh, really shorten this up, but I just wanted this launch, this third season of battling, let's go over here, uh, launched just earlier today, and I wanted to get something out quickly so that you both, uh, so that you know how to play. So um, with this video, uh, you will see a link to Peak Monsters and a link to Steam Monsters. Um, I'll put an affiliate link for Steam Monsters up. Uh, on Peak Monsters, you'll be able to uh, buy some cards. Um, uh, usually you can go into the market and buy stuff here. Or you can go into Steam Monsters and uh, buy cards here. So when you are not logged in, you can go in and, and enter use a credit card. You're, it's going to give you like 30 cards to begin with. Uh, it's going to give you the ability to play, like, you know, you're official. And it's going to give you an account on Steam, which is a blockchain, which is a blockchain means public database. It's, I mean, I also helped create this website called Steam Peak, where you can see, uh, you can blog and talk about different things and earn money, which you need a Steam account to use. So it's kind of cool. You're going to get a Steam account uh, in addition to that. And uh, there you go. So you can use a credit card to buy there. Whereas on Peak Monsters, you're going to need the currency called Steam. All right. So where do we go from here? I've just showed you that you can go in, um, create an account, choose your username, use a credit card. It's $10. You can buy booster packs here for $2 each. And then inside those booster packs... I'll go and show you. I'm going to open up one. So I have a lot sitting here. Because maybe in some future day, I bought these for $2. Maybe some future day, I'll sell them for $2.50 once all of these are gone. All the alphas are already gone. So I can already sell these for more than $2. Um, but what about these beta ones? Um, we're going to open one now and show you how that goes. It's kind of a fun semi... Oh, this is a fun way to start. When it made that shaking, that wasn't normal. And that means I got a legendary, which is like a $5 card for a $2 pack. So that's kind of cool. A little bit of luck, a little bit of almost gambling. -ish. It's like any card game, any baseball card, any sort of thing like that. Uh, we should not expect to get anything quite as good. Because it doesn't say anything underneath. These are all very, these are all commons. These are all like five cent cards, you know, six cents. So... I'll open another one just to give you an example. You're guaranteed to get one that's at least a rare. That may be our only good card in that. Well, we got two cards that are rare. It is statistically proven 
um, the distribution of these cards that 1% is going to be a legendary. So one out of 100 cards is a legendary. It just happened to be that our first one while well, showing to you was that. And then maybe, I think, 25 out of 100 is going to be rare. 20 out of 100? I can't remember the actual statistics. I think it's 25. Okay, so the other fun thing about these cards is that you own them. In any other kind of card game uh, that's online, or any game that's online, Pokemon or Clash of Clans or uh, anything like that, you're just paying, when you pay something, you're paying for the privilege. Um, uh, and if you misbehave, they take everything away from you. You could spend hundreds, or you could spend thousands of dollars on some of those games, and then they can just revoke your account. If you own these cards, you own them. And that's part of this, this technology, this idea of blockchain. So that's just kind of another fun thing I just wanted to throw out there. You don't need to know that to be able to play. In fact, how do you play? So let's go over here into this battle section. So you've bought your cards. You maybe bought a couple of few extra booster packs. If you are friends with me, for example, uh, message me. I may have account. I've bought a lot of these cards and I put some in a separate account. I have one called Jarvi Guest. Uh, and maybe we'll let you uh, play with that and get a, get a feel if you like the game. Um, uh, okay. But you bought some. You bought some extra packs. I mean, just buying some, you could already start playing. What has happened is um, I've played quite a bit earlier today. I started at uh, zero, as you can see down here. So we're going to zoom in maybe a little bit here. Started at zero, and I just started going up through the ranks. When I got to 100, the rules kind of changed, and I could uh, use higher level cards. So from 100 all the way to, I think, 1,000, I can use a little bit higher cards, okay? Not tons higher. And how do you make your cards higher? Well, if you go into collection, uh, you can see that I have a lot of these cards, 330, blah, 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 you know. So these are this is a, a max level card, a level 10. Uh, but these level 1s is what you're going to start off with. When you start playing, level one is great. And then uh, when you get up to a 100, you're gonna need a couple extra cards. Maybe two more of these. Well, no, let's see. Uh, seven more of these, I think, is what is required. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if these cards are five cents each, six cents each, that's, you know, like 30 cent. Now you have to use a 30 cent card to compete. So. In any case, we'll go back to battle. Sorry, I'm kind of switching back and forth. But this is my like first attempt sharing with you guys how things are going. And I've already shared quite a bit. I've talked about the market. I've talked about how to get a an account, um, opening cards, and stuff like that. Now we're going to go into what's probably the most interesting thing is uh, how to play. So it's going to tell you right here a lot of this stuff that maybe I'm going to mention for a moment. There's mana cost, and then that's all of what they do. The attack, speed, defense, life. I mean, you kind of understand, right? A shield, it's probably defense. A heart, probably life. Um, this thing, These things right here, just kind of remember, um, this is speed and this is the attack. And now there is going to be... Um, three different types of attack. So uh, what you're going to want to do is probably watch a few different maybe videos on YouTube on how it plays. Maybe uh, read up here in this section on how to play. We're going to go into battle and we're going to pick a ranked battle. No one's really playing in practice. So just go into ranked battle. It's not a big deal. What's going to happen, and this is new for season three, is it's going to match you up against someone. You can even see what they've played recently, right? And then it's going to tell you um, uh, what the rules of combat are. Now, when you first start off, there are no unique rules. It's all just very standard. There's no changes to the rule set, okay? But for me, this is going to say magic attack, 
hits armor before reducing health, which is kind of a, it's making magic less powerful, which is interesting because then you think twice, hmm, do I want to use magic? Do I want to use magic in this? Okay, so now we're going to go in and make a team. You have three minutes to do it. I've already talked through quite a bit of it. And here's the mana cap. Mana is up here. I've got 25 I can spend. First off, I need to select a summoner, which I probably don't want to do the one that adds mana. So I'm going to do this uh, Malric Inferno, which gives me extra attack ability. So what I want to do is kind of figure out which ones I want to attack with. And um, uh, I think I like these guys to attack. And then I'm just going to throw them on the board and kind of reorganize. That's my style. Um, I really like... Oh, look at this guy. Okay. I'm, I like this guy because he heals himself. So does this guy. But Matt um, Melee can't attack from second position. So this guy is just kind of like in reserves almost. So... Uh, um, what, what do we need to put in here? So magic has kind of got a D. It's not as quite as strong. Um, I, I don't think I've got a really good strong team. I've been distracted, obviously, by talking here. Um, I've really been distracted. This may not be a really good battle here. Oh, well. That's how it goes sometimes. Okay, I gotta think. I want this, and then uh, maybe I don't want that. Maybe I want to play this. I've only got 30 seconds. <laughs> I've been so distracted. Okay, I've got three more I can spend. I think I know I want to spend it on this. Okay, so we're good. Uh, it isn't like super well thought out. Um, I'm going to move some stuff around. That's all very much strategy. How to play. You've got the basics. Um, I'll go through it as we as we watch the game, they probably submitted their team like a minute and a half ago. So it could be that they just gave up, you know? Nope. There we go. They are playing. I want to tell you, okay, so this isn't how to play per se. I'm just going to give you an, well, it is how to play. I'm going to show you. So what's happened is this is a deck building game. It was a matter of building your deck based on the rule set, based on who you're playing. You can see what they've played. You can know them, uh, you know, know their style. You can look at their past games and kind of get a feel. What do you think they're going to end up doing? Uh, so it's the, the what y your part was ar that has already happened. Okay. Now this is just a simulation of what has already been decided. I could go in here and look to see what the game has already happened, okay? It was, we've already chosen. Now there will be other styles of gameplay, perhaps where you go back and forth and you do different random things, but this style of gameplay is already, this. that's how you play it, it's deck building. We've created a team. Okay, so uh, this is the first position guy, if you remember, I put him in first position. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then the summoner. So you can only put in six guys plus the summoner, okay? All right, so when we hit rumble, I want to show a few different things that are going on. Uh, you could skip to the results. You could go faster speed. We can pause this. Um, you get to see, again, what the rule set was. He hasn't, he's used like one magic person, so not a big deal. Um, I've got one magic. We've kind of got a very similar team, uh, except I put a, someone with heal. So you get their abilities are down here. So heal, retaliate, he has heal. This one has weaken, which takes off one heart. This one has snipe, which goes, which means he goes after the first range or magic attack person. So he's going to attack this one. Same with mine. I mean, we have very similar decks. We didn't know. We just kind of threw them into the ring and, and saw what was going on. So 
here we go. Um, what else should I be telling you? Um, well, I mean, there's a lot of gameplay elements. Uh, just like any game, or any really good game, it's you could like throw things in there, experiment, have fun, but it's going to take you a little bit of time to get good at it. You can understand the, the rules of the game pretty quickly. Um, we're actually going to go to a regular speed. There we go. Sorry, I kind of... So, uh, we hit him. He's gone. He's off the board. Now he's going to attack. What needs to happen is he needs to heal himself soon. Okay, so we got one heart back. Okay, we need to heal ourselves soon. Okay, it needs to be his turn. No, okay, be your turn. There we go. So we got a couple more back on there. Oh, with a retaliate, that's not good. And now he's going to die. Okay, so that's a great ability right there. However, I have a few of his guys off the board. He's down to two, and I've still got a few. This guy has heals, so he's pretty good. And a three attack, so he's just going to... Boom, the next time he's going to take him out. The next time he's going to take him out. So just not looking good. Ugh. Now this guy's going to take him out right off. And range cannot attack from first position, so I'm dead. Range cannot attack from first position because he's got... Look at this, it's like a symbol of a bow and arrow. Of course, it's he's using fire, it's not a bow and arrow. But he just can't attack from there. So, And this guy's going to be healing himself. So, I mean, we could skip to the results. The game is over. We're going to look at the results. I could show you like 20 different games. And they're all going to be a little bit different. But because I was a high ranking and he was decently low, he got a lot of points and I lost a lot of points. Which is pretty sad. But you're going to go up and down. And wh why does that matter? Um, because... If, as you go up in different leagues, your uh, reward for playing is going to increase, okay? So once you get to the bronze level, you're going to get one booster pack. That's going to be very easy. You could do that in like 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And then when you get through the bronze, then you're going to get, um, when you get to 400, you'll get two. And when you get to uh, 700, you'll get three. And, and what's going to be interesting is, as people go up and you're a little bit lower and you beat them like you're going to rise real fast. And uh, it's going to kind of keep them down unless they have a lot of good skills. We could kind of look at the leaderboard. The game started earlier today. There's a few people that have made it to the Silver League. And in the Silver League you can use even higher level of cards. Let me show you over on Peak Monsters what's going on. I'm going to go to my collection and see the cards that I have. What I wanted to show was, um, uh, we're going to go into here, we're going to combine cards, okay? So in, in the Bronze League, the common cards can be kind of like level 3. So I put 2 together and they're level 2. And I put 4 together and they're level 3. Okay, so you only need 4 of these cards, I forgot. I I think I mentioned, I think I said you had to have eight previously, but that's not true. So we're going to go back into here and look at the Silver League here. And the Silver League says that you can use level five commons. Okay, so let's go back here to Peak Monsters and go to Combine. And uh, we're going to do, we know that four gives you level three. So probably 8 gives you level 4, and so somewhere around 16 is probably going to be level 5, which really isn't that many. So it's actually 19 cards. BCX kind of stands for number of cards. And if you combined all of these by going down here and confirming, yes, I have a lot of cards, but I've it's been months that I've been buying them, and then... If I hit this button, confirm them, then they're all combined. You can't uncombine them, but you can combine them. And then you'll be able to play in Silver League. But you're not worried about that now. 
in fact, when you first start off, level one cards are going to be just fine. And then quickly, you can jump in real fast and and buy some extra. Go to beta, because what you're going to get is beta cards. And uh, go to the market. And go to beta. Okay. Some of them are down as low as three cents. That's crazy. So I'm just going to buy this three cent card. Boom. And now I've bought it. Pretty easy. Um, there are obviously things that I've left off even in this 20 minute video. I just feel like I needed to give you kind of a, a rundown. And I don't know if I confused you on certain things or not. But I feel like you got a basics. And I think we're going to end by playing another game. There's, there's all sorts of things going on. Uh, message me, comment on this video. Uh, tell me what you want me to specifically talk about. I'll make a video just about that. How about that? Okay. So again, we're going to go to ranked. Um, we're going to find... An enemy. I should have gone to a different account that was level one. But this is fun. So it's searching for someone that else that's playing. It found Stealth Trader, who has a pretty high ranking. So if I were to lose to him, I wouldn't drop quite as much. Um, but he stands a lot. Like, he's going to gain a lot more by beating me. Now, the mana cap is completely different. 16 is very interesting. And Silent Summoners means that that all these see how it's kind of faded well you know part of this is i've got these kind of fancy summoners um that don't have any abilities so i'm going to use one of those <laughs> so let's go here and uh and pick the white splinter summoners don't have any abilities so what are they going to do? Are they going to attack me with magic? In, it, in which case, I want this void, which kind of voids the magic to a degree. Not completely void it. And together with it, I want to heal that golem. So that's kind of my strategy. Have this person that has a decent amount of heart and a pretty good attack. And I know that it can't be... That attack can't be lessened by a summoner because summoners don't have any abilities. So I'm going to put these two together, and then I look at them like I've got five more to spend. Where do I want to spend it? On one really expensive person? Um, uh, I do have a, a two that I can use, so I can do a three and a two. Um, but I think I'm going to do a five... Let's see. Yeah. I don't know if I want to heal. That's too much. Okay. I'm going to change it up a little bit. What level three? Now, see, I kind of want to do something else, but I'm distracted talking. I think... What I'm going to do is go go with this. I don't know how well this is going to do. you got three minutes to think about it. I, I'm not always the best at these lower mana games. Of course, I've already shown you a game that I lost. So, but we'll take this time uh, to talk to you. Like, if you know me, we're friends. Um, I've got an account you could probably use in the meantime. And we can talk about how when you get packs... Oh, hey, yeah, if you win... If you do a quest, you can do a quest every day and get a free pack. Um, uh, and if I lend you a really good team that you could win for weeks, uh, we can talk about kind of splitting those packs. Um, if not, just send me some questions. So they went heavy on magic, which is awesome because remember how I was like, hey, hopefully I get attacked by a magic team because then I'll be doing good. And they don't have any snipe or or uh, or sneak, which means the ability to kind of go past the first person and attack these people later on. So these guys are safe, and so I just have to 
worry about this guy surviving. Let's go give it a shot. I've got three and a two. So I've got five attack each round. Look, that void just voided that one attack, which is awesome. So, and then I got a heal. So really this was the perfect team. Look, zero attack because I voided one of his magic. Or half of, yeah, whatever. I voided one in this case. And uh, there you go. It's really interesting watching it in this slow speed because I'm used to watching it in fast speed, but I'm letting you uh, see what's going on. This was kind of a little bit of the luck of the draw. Um, I planned for it well. Um, I could have gone and researched Stealth Trader. I could have uh, seen what he was playing recently. I had this kind of like battle of wits. Like, I think that you're going to do this. Anyway. That was, we knew off the bat we were going to win because we planned exactly for that sort of scenario. So, I didn't stand a lot to gain from that because he was a decent amount lower than me. Um, but, it was pretty good. I mean, if I had lost, I'd probably have lost like 20-something points. But I went up, so that's good. I'd actually won quite a few in a row. Too bad I lost that one. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Remember, buy is to buy packs. You can use a credit card, you can use cryptocurrencies. Open is to open your packs. Hey, let's open another one real fast. Boring pack, pretty bad actually. <laughs> and market is where you can buy cards, but you have to do it one at a time, and it's not what I created. This is what I helped create. Uh, you can see, wow, there's a lot of cards that are three cents. Um, if we refresh, I wonder if they're all going to be, well, some of them are gone because people keep buying them. And then you can look at your collection. However, you can also look at your collection here. And this is, I consider it a little bit better because you have some more features. And um, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I, I figured if you're interested in playing this game, you're willing to watch 30 minutes. That's that's part of my thinking. Otherwise, you're going to go online and spend a little bit longer. It is going to take you a little bit of time to understand and get good at it. But you could always go here to battle, hit how to play, and maybe this just gives you a way better idea of how to play than what I had talked about. You let me know. I don't know. It is what it is. If you watch this whole thing, let me know. I'll send you a card. Tell me your Steam account name. I'll send you a card if you watch this whole thing. You got to post on the video or on um, the Steam Steam Peak. <laughs> and then I'll send you something. All right, bye.